Hey guys, welcome back to my comic book review for this week. And we were just discussing Rebels in the last part when uh, we had to end. It's a good comic once again if you guys are interested in seeing a little crossover. Sinestro Corpse is being crossed over in here with the Black Lanterns. Pick it up if you're interested. If not, don't pick it up. It's up to you. Next is Booster Gold. Now, I actually would like to say something about Booster Gold. My friend Chaos uh, Reaper, uh, 96 I believe, right Mike? Chaos yes. Reaper, 96. Um, suggested I pick this title up, that it's really good. He's been checking this title out. Um, I really enjoyed this issue. It's really good. Ted Core Court comes back. This is like a big one for those of you who are interested in uh, the crisis and stuff like that where Ted Cord got his head shot off. Really nice. This is a really good book. Booster Gold, I can't speak on yet because like I said, I'm getting it because of the Blackest Night tie and I'm just starting. So I can't give you about the series. Uh, for the next two parts though, for 26 and 27 with the Blackest Night tie I would get it. This looks really, really good. First of all, my favorite penciler, uh, you don't have to agree with me, by the way, Dan Jurgens is doing this, and I just noticed that. I love Dan Jurgens back in the 90s when he was doing Superman. The artwork is really, really good in this book. Oh my God, it brings me back from the 90s. It's up to you guys, but I would really suggest this one. This one I would suggest for the artwork, for the crossover, for Ted Cord coming back, the whole Blue Beetle being back thing. Even though he's a Black Lantern, pick it up. It's pretty damn good pretty damn good. I mean, compared to the rest of the shit that I've been um, doing this week, this is the one of the good ones. And now on to, speaking of good ones, the best title of last week, Green Lantern Corp. 42. Holy shit. This was the best title, in my opinion, of last week's uh, comic book uh, rundown. Everything I've done, this is the best title. Oh my god. Basically, we all know next issue, Guy Gardner's turning red. And they were speculating there was going to be a death. Uh, everyone had their opinion. Somebody thought it was Ice. Um, Ramon from Pete's Basement, which you should be watching and we'll get into a little bit later, thought it was going to be Kilowog. I thought it was going to be Kilowog, too. I'll be honest with you. And I was upset that it was going to be Kilowog. Wow. Put up a big spoiler right here. The person who dies in this issue is Kyle Rayner. Holy shit, the biggest wow I've seen thus far in The Blackest Night. Kyle Rayner is the one that dies, uh, which is obviously going to push Guy Gardner into becoming the Red Lantern in the next issue, I'm guessing. The next issue is titled Rage of the Red Lantern. Also, the other Red Lantern um, died in this issue. I guess his ring is going to go to Guy, unless they just send him a different ring completely. I don't care. I don't know, but you know what's happening. Wow. Kyle Rayner. Of all people, you, you, the, it's always the one you did. I had a feeling it was going to be him. Because for a while now, it kind of gave that feeling that he's only in the corpse. He's not even in the Green Lantern title anymore. I kind of had a feeling it was between him and Kilowog, but I had a feeling they were going to do him more. Because if Kilowog died, I didn't think Guy would go up in as much of a rage as he would if Kyle died. So I kind of had a feeling it was Kyle. I just wasn't too sure. Um, if you guys have been reading the corp from the beginning, him and Kyle are like brothers. Kyle even says, you've been like a brother to me. Holy shit, pick this title up. Pick this title up. You should be collecting The Blackest Night. Like I said back in my figure review that I did last night, which is probably being posted tonight, this series is amazing. It's just, it's got everything. It's got death. It's got life. It's got rings. There are rings everywhere. You should be reading this. This is a big event in this book. If you don't want to pick up Blackest Night, fine. The biggest, uh, big event in this book with Kyle Rayner's death. I mean, Kyle Rayner was Green Lantern from like the early 90s all the way through till now. I mean, he was Ion for a little while, now he's back to Green Lantern, now he's dead. Holy shit. I mean, when I started collecting Superman, he was the Green Lantern, even though I knew about how Jordan being a, the original Green Lantern, and then learning about him becoming Parallax and everything, but this was the original Kyle Rayner, it was the original Green Lantern when I started collecting, and this is just like a, this is one of those deaths that's going to be felt for a little while, I feel, in the DC Universe. Even though Hal Jordan's back, Kyle Rayner still played a part as a Green Lantern, as one of the top Green Lanterns. Uh, wow, this is great. I can't wait for the next Green Lantern Corp. You should be picking these up. You should be picking up anything to do with Blackest Night as far as Green Lantern, Green Lantern Corp, and the Blackest Night standalone title. Those three titles you should be picking up right now, if any. You know, And I'm not really a Green Lantern fan, but I'll tell you the truth. After all, seeing what's going on in these titles, and I also bought a few uh, paperbacks from the older issues from the Rage of the Red Lantern and the Sinestro Corp War, which I saw how it ended. I want to see how it all went down. And Agent Orange, which I'm getting uh, at the end of this week. 
I'm really getting into Green Lantern. For those of you who aren't into Green Lantern, this series might change your mind. I would definitely pick this up. If you're going to pick up any of the comic books I reviewed this week, pick this one up. It is worth your $3. Pretty damn sweet. And now, moving off of that and on to um, Quickie before the end of this uh, part. Um, first and foremost, for those of you who have been sending me emails, um, thank you. You guys have been asking me what my favorite comic book is. Uh, I started collecting Superman, so I'm going to stick with Superman being my favorite. I've reached out to many, many, many titles. Um, once again, um, Reaper, thank you so much for offering um, a suggestion with Booster Gold. If I didn't hear from you, I honestly would not have known Dan Jurgens was even in that title. Austin Penciler, in my opinion, loved his work when he was on Superman. Also, uh, Pete's Basement, you guys should be watching that. Um, they got... Lots of books that I didn't review, especially in this week's episode. I just watched it before shooting this video. They covered a lot more comics that I didn't get. I'm not interested in Punisher. They love Punisher, so they got the review on him. Uh, they got the review on the um, the, um, shoot, the guy that's the new Sorcerer Supreme. I don't. I'm not interested in that right now. So for those of you who are interested in that, I'll put a link here to their YouTube on their YouTube. It's or I'll put another link next to it saying uh, their website name you should be checking those guys out they got more they reviewed a lot more comics than I did this week basically the comic books I reviewed minus the um, Green Lantern Corp they didn't do so the comic books I did you won't see on their episodes other than that one as far as I yeah I'm pretty sure they didn't cover any of the other titles I think they covered everything else yeah they didn't do Spider-Man they didn't do Red Robin I believe they did Batman they did Batman too but the other ones they didn't do so check them out definitely uh, also at the end of the video they mentioned uh, me I've been suggesting these guys to you guys on Brooklyn Boys from way back before Dark Avenger even started I'm telling you guys that are watching Dark Avengers now I've watched tons of people review comic books tons I have tons of people uh, I've watched on YouTube I came across Pete's Basement and honestly I go to them all the time first I mean they may not they might not hit the comic books I review but they do great work, and I enjoy watching. Even if I don't know the comic book, I enjoy watching their input. It's good to see, you know, it's just kick-ass. Also, oh, answering one other email. One of you guys, I'm sorry, your name was just a huge name. Uh, why, you asked why I'm promoting Pete's Basement and if I know them personally. I'm promoting them because I think they're really, really good, number one. Number two, personally knowing them, no. I have sent them a few emails, and I'm planning on sending them a lot more emails in the future. And you also asked if I'm ever going to be on the show. I don't know. I don't think so. I would be more than honored to be on Pete's Basement if they ever offered me. Damn straight, I'd freaking walk there to Greenpoint. Um, I love their show. I'd love to be on it. But at the moment, um, there's nothing planned out. I mean, I love the, their show. I'd definitely be on it if they ever asked. But no, thus far, no. I'm not planned on any of their episodes. Who knows? You never know the future. Maybe we'll have a, they'll be on my video. I'll be on theirs. Never know. Especially with the comic book community in my neighborhood stretched so thin. I'd be more than willing to travel out there to be with those guys if they ever offer. Okay, so watch Peace Basement. Get this issue of Green Lantern Corp. number 42. Big event in there. Um, enjoy the rest of your week. I will be back next week with next week's comic books. I might actually stick in the trade paperbacks I bought also just to give you guys a my opinion on the series and that's all um hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode and i will catch you next week um don't forget to watch pete's basement this week or i'll find you i'll kill you all right later guys where's my pepsi my fucking pepsi <laughs>